Hello my lovelies, I'm back with another place value video today. However, this video is going to be focusing on five digit numbers. If you watched my first place value video, you will know that we were through the units, tens, hundreds and thousands. Today, we're also going to be looking at ten thousands. Let's get started. If I put in the number 21,000, 432. Take a moment, pause the video and see if you can work out the place value. Remember, if you need to look back on the last video, when I discuss the terms in depth, that's absolutely fine. We're looking at the place value of each digit, okay? So how much each number is worth. So when the two is in the units column, here, it's worth two. When the three is in the tens column, it's worth 30. When the four is in the hundreds column, it's worth 400. When the one is in the thousands column, it's worth 1,000. And when the two is in the ten thousands column, it's worth 20,000. This is because there are two lots of ten thousands. And two times ten thousand is twenty thousand. Let's try another example. I'll put the number nine, three, seven, eight. So ninety three thousand seven hundred and eighteen. Take a moment, pause the video and see if you can work out the place value of every digit. OK, so when the eight is in the units column, it's worth eight. When the 1 is in the tens column, we have one lot of 10, so it's worth 10. When the 7 is in the hundreds column, we've got 7 hundreds, so 700. When the 3 is in the thousands column, we've got 3,000. Okay. And when the 9 is in the ten thousands column, that means we've got 9 lots of 10,000. So it's 90,000. And all together that would be 93,718. <coughs> I'll go through one more example for you. Remember, if you're a little bit confused with any of the vocabulary you use, such as digits, you can go back to my last video. I'll leave the link in the description below. Last example then. 4,000... Oh, no. 48,000, sorry, 799. So 48,799. When the nine, or this nine, is in the units column, it's worth nine. When this nine is in the tens column, it's worth 90. When the seven is in the hundreds column, it's worth 700. When the eight is in the thousands column, we've got Eight, one thousand, so it's eight thousand. And when the four is in the ten thousands column, we have four times ten thousand. So we've got four lots of ten thousand, which is forty thousand. Well done if you got those answers. I hope you feel more comfortable now with place value when dealing with five digit numbers. If you're part of my year four class, you can get in touch with myself, Mr. Phillips, or Miss Claire via Teams. Good luck and enjoy your home learning. Thank you.